What's up guys, it's Coach Bess. Uh, got some good feedback from our first video, so uh, we're gonna hit this thing going, moving. Uh, real quick before we go any farther, uh, a couple people, not just you guys, other people uh, have been asking me, you know, don't you worry about someone getting on here and seeing what we do. You know, don't worry about that at all because uh, people know what we do, okay? We're gonna run the power. They know what football is, okay? Uh, matter of fact, I hope other coaches end up getting on this channel, end up seeing it and subscribing and watching and commenting because um, I'm, I'm trying to learn every day. I didn't make this stuff up. I learned this stuff from guys, so um, I, I hope people get on here and see what we do. They, they know what we do anyways. Um, the key is that you're on here watching and you're seeing it and you're getting ahead of it. So uh, with that being said, we're gonna move on today. Uh, we're going to talk about power variations, okay? Talked power last video. Uh, this time we're going to talk power read, power toss, power shovel, okay? So that's where we're moving forward here. So here we go. Uh, start right here. We're going to get out the way here so you can see. Uh, we're going to go with power read to start here, okay? We're in a two-by-two two set, 10 personnel, one back, okay? We're two-by-two. Two. Again, even front here. Showing everything gives an even front right now. Okay, six guys in a box see this quite a bit with us. So power read, how we're gonna run power read. Now, as we talked in the last video with power, the end man on the line of scrimmage, the offensive line does not worry about, okay? And so that's the guy that our F was taking care of in the power. Okay, now when we're going power read, we're gonna read him. So we don't need to block him. That's why we put the triangle around that guy. We're gonna, we're gonna read him. The quarterback will take care of him now. Okay, so up front, we're still tackle responsible for the B gap. So he's going to come down in the B gap. Guard has the A gap. No one is in the A gap. I can get a double team there. Again, eyes on that A gap. Don't want anybody running through the A gap here. That combination will go to the backside. Okay, and again, I don't say they're looking to block that backside backer. Because again, if that backer leaves, that's going to give us a great cutback lane. We're just going to get a good hard double team, move that guy, and then keep working vertical. Somebody will show up in this lane like this, this backside weak safety here. Okay, uh, here we go. Center backside A, get our good skip pull. And notice our guard is not worried about this defensive end. Okay, we're going to read him. We're going to block him with our eyes. We're going to make him make a decision. He cannot be right. Backside tackle steps the B gap, makes sure nothing's coming to that B gap and hinges and gets that thing real wide. We block most dangerous out wide there, good there. Now, with the power read, like I said, quarterback eyes immediately go to that defensive end and they're gonna, we're gonna read that defensive end. Halfback, you are always responsible for the mesh as usual. You're coming straight down that line of scrimmage, messing with the quarterback, and you are taking this thing on that line as wide as you can get before you get upfield. We want to stretch it wide. It's a dead sprint straight down that line and, and we're getting wide and we're outside and we're on a sweep. Quarterback, you're going to catch a snap. You're going to present that, present the ball in front of you for the halfback to match. Eyes to this defensive end and we are reading this defensive end. And we're taking two big shuffle steps. And within those two shuffle steps, we make our read on that defensive end. Now, if that defensive end wants to crash down here and take away the power, then we will just hand the thing off to the, to the halfback and we're out on the edge. If that defensive end gets upfield or chases that halfback, well then we will pull and now we become the power back as a quarterback. We become the power back and we're, we're right up in there. Okay, so simple, again, you see, up front, it looks just like power from, from the last video. Instead of having our F now locking onto that defense end, we're gonna read that defense end and he cannot be right. Okay, so that's power read. Now, let me erase it, put us back up there, and we'll move on from there. Now, we're gonna show same two by two set. Same two by two set. Let's move our H to, to the other side now. Uh, we can put our H on the other side, no problem. Okay. Still get the six man box. Now, another variation. Jet power read. Jet power read. We wanna we wanna get an extra hat out on the on the edge blocking. 
So again, we'll just bring our F, our F over here in jet motion, and we're gonna snap the ball. Okay, we're gonna snap the ball. And that now allows our H, who is just the ball carrier on power read, to now be this extra hat out here on the edge. Our F becomes our sweep back. Our F becomes our sweep back. And again, we're shuffle, shuffle. B gap, A gap to the back side, back side A gap, skip pull, still reading that end man on the line of scrimmage. Step to the B gap for no run through and hinge. And now we still have the same thing, jet power read now. So now instead of just power read, we add the jet element, get an extra hat out, out on the edge. Just another variation. Get us drawn back up. Again, all of these are being drawn to a to a uh, even front. We see a ton of even front. Two by two again. Even front. Next variation: power toss. Okay, power toss. So far, so far in all our videos we've talked about power, we've seen this H crossing our quarterback's face. Okay, if this H was lined up on this side, we would have to run power this way, we ran power read this way, everything crossing his face going away. Now we're gonna add something where we can run to the same side as the H. So now I wanna snap the ball, just like in all power, B gap. Nobody in the A, double team, make sure nobody runs through that A gap. Backside A, skip pull, we're still gonna read this guy on all of our reads. Reading that end man on line scrimmage, we'll take care of him with our eyes. Okay, we're most dangerous on the, on the out, out wide. Now, snap of the ball. Our H is running, running sweet. And this is why we call it power toss. Now we're still shuffle, shuffle, and we're gonna either toss this ball to the H or we become the power back. Based on, again, what this guy is doing. If he wants to squeeze, we'll shuffle, shuffle, and just a quick toss to, to our H running the sweep. If he wants to attack the H, shuffle, shuffle, put our foot in the ground, and now our quarterback becomes a power back, and we're, we're hitting it in there. And again, just like we talked last video, quarterback, you're the power back in these reads now. You're the guy running the power. Your eyes need to be to this backside backer. Because again, like we talked yesterday, last video, this backside backer wants to vacate. And now we have a huge cutback lane here. Okay, and that's why it's just so important that our, our, our center, our, our backside tackle, and this double team, we're just getting and moving guys vertical. Because now they want to overplay things and they give us a cutback lane. Power toss, that was power toss. So we've seen power read, we've seen jet power read, we've seen power toss now. Last one we're gonna look at here is power shovel. Okay, we're gonna look at power shovel. I love quarterbacks that can run. Uh, I like guys that can run better than them, even better. Okay, so it doesn't really matter what we do. Okay, it doesn't matter what we do with our H. He can, uh, he can be either way. Again, we're two by two. We're two by two. We're gonna read that end again. Still no different up front. Like we said yesterday in the last video, all of our power is the same to our offensive line. Okay, we're blocking power. Power shovel now. What we will do with power shovel most dangerous out here. We're reading this end. Now, we can line our H up on, on this side and give them a toss, power toss look. If we line the H up here, we can run them across the face and, and give the power read look. That doesn't matter. I mean, we could get real tricky. We could get real tricky and, and put them out here and go empty if we wanted to, okay? Because power toss, the H just becomes 
just becomes that 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 spare guy. Now with power shovel, with power shovel, we'll, we'll put them here. We'll run them on a power toss pad. Okay, we're gonna be shuffle shuffle. Now, if this end crashes and closes down here, well then it's obvious we're just running power toss and we're we're pitching that thing out there and we're on the edge. However, if he takes that toss away, comes up field, runs the toss. Now, instead of the quarterback putting his foot in the ground and becoming a power back, he now is simply going to shovel it forward to our F back, who is now coming down the line, and he becomes our power back. And so it's just a shuffle, shuffle, plant, and just a quick little flip shovel into our, to our F coming across. And we can line this F up anywhere. If we, if we line them up wide, we can motion them in. Okay, we just got to get them into to wing area to start to play. And he's just going to be slowly down down the line of scrimmage, following that following that guard at skip pulling, catching the shovel and go. The thing about the shovel power shovel is it's safe because it's an actual forward pass. If if we drop that thing, it's not a fumble. It's a forward pass, incomplete pass, and, and we live another down. Okay, so like I said, variations, all kinds of them. Up front, same thing. Power is power to our offensive line. That's the big thing to understand. Um, the rest of that stuff we, we do with the backs and receivers and the quarterbacks, we can get real tricky with it. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Give me feedback. Spread the, spread the word. Get more people watching them. Um, and like I said to start, we really don't care if other people are watching these videos. Um, I, I welcome it. I want to hear other coaches um, comment, talk about it. How do they teach it? How do they do things different? Um, like I said, I didn't. I don't make this stuff up. I learn every day. Um, so hearing another coach talk about it would be great. So don't worry about that. Um, they still got to stop us, and they're going to have trouble doing that, fellas. Keep up the good work. We'll see you next time.